Welcome. Yeah, this is uh, Revivalforest.tv. If this is your first time to come across this video and you have not subscribed, kindly consider doing so. You can as well click the notification bell so that any time I upload a video, you will be the first person to get a notification. So in this channel, we say that uh, we put issues on the table, we look issue after the other, and finally we get a solution. Uh, today I want to talk about having entrepreneur mindset. Maybe before I can go deeper into what we are going to discuss in the next 8 minutes or 10, uh, we can start by looking what is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is whereby you identify a business opportunity, then you get resources so that you can be able to tap that business opportunity. So if I can put it in a, in a layman language, this is self-employment. This is whereby you are your own boss, you are your own manager. That is what we call entrepreneurship. And even before you can go deeper again, we have two types of generation. We have generation X and generation Y. Generation Y are those people uh, who are born from 1980, 1980 and above. And you find that in this generation, these are, this, this is a special generation because these are the people, they cannot stay in one job for a long period of time. They get bored by doing the same thing. And that is why there is a conflict between the two generations, generation X and generation um, Y. Because now our parents, our those people who are born below 1980, they have that notion. And they used to tell their children, go to school, work hard, become a pilot. You know? But now here we have a conflict because the current generation, they are not so much into that. You know? These are the people that want, you know, they get bored by doing the same thing. And that is why you see most of them are resigning. Despite having good job, they resign. But now in the previous generation that existed, uh, they believed that uh, you have to secure a job, most likely in a government, because they looked, to, they looked one thing, job security. And uh, many people could do as much as they could to secure a job, especially in the government, you know, you could stop your business and then you go and you secure a job, even the smallest job in the government because of job security and something that was pensionable. Uh, when I talk about entrepreneur mindset, this is whereby you have a, a, a set of attitudes because we can say mindset is a set of attitudes and attitudes is the way you look at things the way you understand things the way you look at the things the perspective that you have when you look at things that is your attitude because business is all about attitudes entrepreneur mindset for you to succeed in anything that you are doing as a business woman as a business man it, is, it starts from your mind. And uh, mind, I can compare your mind with a, with a rubber band. A rubber band, you can, stretch, you can stretch it. But at the same time, if you leave it like that, it will just remain the natural way. So your mindset can be stretched to your full potential. But again, if you just remain like that, then it will be natural way. It will be naturally small. Uh, I can give two people uh, 20 books or 30 books each. And I tell them to go to a certain city, let's say in Dika. But at the end of the day, these two people there will be one person who will come with 20 books. He has not sold anything. But the other person will come with 
having sold all the books. Why is it? Why is this possible? Yet I have exposed these two people in the same environment, in the same place. They are meeting the same client. But here one person come with all the books that I have given him to go and to sell. But the other person have sold all the books. It is because of attitude. It is because of the way they look at things. Probably the one person faced a lot of objection and rejection and uh, he was not able to cope up. But the other person was able to persevere, you know. He was able to, you know, to convince the client the importance of, you know, having this book. That is mindset. That is attitude. Because I have met with a lot of parents and they are telling me, you know what, uh, my son had resigned from his job. He was a, a doctor. He has resigned from his job and he has started his own business. And there is nothing wrong with that. But here the conflict is because before the transformation, you know, there is that generation conflict because initially people believe that uh, it's all about getting job, especially a pensionable job, you know, especially in a government. But now we have to understand the new generation. We are calling it Generation Y. We have to understand that the, the world is changing. And I'm talking to Generation A X. I want to talk to parents here because I have received a lot of complaints from parents how their children are resigning from prestigious jobs to go and to pursue other things. But I want to say this, there is something called change. And change is inevitable. And if you are not willing to change, the change will change you. Gone are the days that people used to believe that for you to, you know, you can do anything for you to get a, a job in government. So it is not a surprise today when you see people residing from their jobs and going to pursue their interest, having entrepreneur mindset. But again, I want to remind you that you have to change your attitude because your attitude will account in your success. Whatever you do, not only in business, whatever you do, it's all about attitude. That is why I have given you an example of two people going in the same environment, meeting the same people. But one person was able to come having sold all the books, yet the other person was not able to sell even a single book. Why? Yet they are facing the same people, the same objection. You know, these people, you, you understand, you, 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 you don't understand why. Because they have different attitude. So, you are going to succeed in that business if you have a positive attitude toward it. And if you are willing to stretch your mindset, if you are willing to stretch your mind to the maximum, that is the only way you can be able to achieve your full potential. But if you just want to remain like that, you cannot be able to see the benefits of whatever you are doing, the business that you have started. You have to stretch yourself. You have to stretch yourself. Uh, sometimes I meet young people and there is this notion among young people that uh, your own success depends on someone else. No, I want to... Uh, I, I am against that notion. You are responsible for your own success. Because I have met business people. By the way, I have interviewed a lot of business people those who have failed in the business, and those who have been able to make it in business. And uh, when you meet those people who have failed in business, they just start giving excuses. You know, I was able to fail in this business because of the product that I was selling, because of the location. You know, my business was in a bad location. There was no traffic of people. You know, but you wonder, who chose you the location? You are the, you are, you are self. You are the one who chose the location. So you cannot blame anything else. You are supposed to blame yourself. Because your success or your failure is attached to you. It's like the way the planets 
you know, how the planets orbit around the sun. So you should take control of what is surrounding, you know. If it is a capital, who looks for the capital? Is it the capital or is it you? You are the one who is supposed to look for that capital you are saying. You did not have to find your business. If it's about the location, you are supposed to move to the place that you feel you are able to get more customers. Because we are living in a society whereby when people fail in anything, they start to blame about other people. You don't have to depend on someone for your own success. And you don't have to blame someone for your own success. You are supposed to blame yourself. You know? Because those people who have failed in whatever they are doing, even in jobs, they will start to say, if I was able to get this and this, I would have been able to do this and that. But you see, you have to stretch your mind. We are living in a very competitive world. Eh? And you have to show the world what you have. You have to show the client why should he get your product and not the other product from other people. And that is why I refer to the example that I started with. Two people, I have sent them to Kisumu to sell books, each to sell 30 books. One person is able to come having sold all the books. The other person is not able. Why? Why is that? Yeah. Because one person has good attitude. He has a positive attitude. He's able to convince other people the, the, the value, you know, the benefits. But the other person, maybe he has a negative attitude. You know, these people are not going to buy this book. These people are not going to accept me. And that is why most of people, they fail in their businesses. Because even before they start that business, they already have a negative attitude. For example, you want to open a chemist somewhere and there are many chemists around. Instead of going there with a positive attitude, you are just saying, you know, there are many chemists here. I know I cannot be able to. There are so many of them. I cannot be able to make it. You see? Definitely, you will not be able to do it. You will not. So, it has to start with your mind. Whatever you are doing, for you to see the benefit of that, it has to start with your mind. Stretch your mind like a rubber band so that you can be able to see your full of potential. Wake up early. You know, some people are lazy. They, you know, they open their businesses. You know, when other people open early, you, are, you, you wake up when you are late. You are not able even to get the potential client. So you have to stretch your full potential. That is what I meant. You have to stretch your potential so that you can be able to see the benefit, to see the benefit of that business that you, you want to start. Because you are not the first person to start that business. There are many people who have started that business. So you have to show the world what you are able to do. Other people cannot be able to do. Thank you. Uh, continue sharing this so that we can be able to encourage other people so that we can be able to open you know, to open other people's mind and we stretch our mind just like a rubber band. If you stretch the rubber band, it will have a potential of expanding. But if you leave it like that, it will remain naturally small. So you have to stretch your full potential because most of the people watching here, they have full potential. They can do amazing work. Only that you don't want to stretch your mind. Thank you and share this video.